Hi everybody. To log into the e forum first, you must uh, log in as usual. Whether you type in AC model or you can use QR code, and then you enter your username and password. For example, I'm using mine. So just press log in. So first, you will come to this uh, interface page. So you just click in the center. Then you will come to CIDS homepage and we go to virtual learning and the first one is digital professional learning community and you go to home page and you click then you will come to the professional learning community and uh, first you have to customize your profile here you just click my profile and you can go edit and you fill up uh, at least only your name required student one as your name but you must write your own full name and um, if you need to write here you can write or else you don't have to write it and then you just save changes the next one is your photo you just click change profile photo you can take from your folder here you can click and you crop it so that you get your full picture you adjust and you click crop image then your picture will be there you may also use uh, your camera the your mobile camera or your laptop camera instead of taking the file from your folder take photo uh, on your camera and uh, you look you adjust the camera so that you can see your full face, your face, and uh, you look at the camera and the side here you have the word capture. Uh, you just capture and you click save. Then your picture will be inserted here. So once you have done that, then your profile has already uploaded successfully. Now you click a private communities and you search for the groups that is uh, Prof. Professor Kumari Education or any other groups this is only for example you have been invited and you just uh, click accept invitation here then you just click and you are in the forum let's say I'm your lecturer so I've already posted to you the subject English the topic is general knowledge, personal hygiene, and there is a discussion topic here. You are asked to watch the video clip and briefly elaborate one of the ways to keep personal hygiene. So what you can do, you can uh, play the movie, play the video clip. To keep our bodies clean, it includes daily activities like showering and brushing our teeth in and other routines that help us maintain a tidy appearance. Good hygiene is an essential part of being And after you have done that, you can respond Okay, you want to respond, you can start respond here Comment here And you can write something here We just put here so one And you may post it Your name, the student one, if you have responded Let's say uh, this is a other friend that have already responded and you want to respond to one of your friends here let's see here you can click reply here and you can write and you post it so you can see the structure here this is from your main lecturer main material and this is from someone else maybe your friend here and you respond to your friend and maybe also you respond to the main your lecturer's uh, materials here and you are also able to uh, insert your file from your Google Drive. Maybe you have a video recording you have to upload to video uh, YouTube, or you have a voice recording, or you have a file from Google Doc, Google Slide. Uh, you can get from your if you want to put some materials uh, from YouTube. Maybe you find some answers and you want to demonstrate it and maybe you can just type what you want here maybe I talk about uh, hygiene maybe hygiene song for kids 
and uh, you have this one maybe you like it and very simple you just copy the URL and you go back to your community and you place it here you you probably you write something here your your answer here and if you want to insert a video link make sure that you insert the new lines below don't put at the end of the words put the new line because if you put uh, the end of the words the video won't be appeared it just appeared as a link but if you put the link below the sentence or the words that is in a new row then it will display it for example after you have put something writing here and you put your link and you post it then you can see this is your video and you can play it okay another example like say you want to reply from here you want to get something from your file from your maybe your google drive or google classroom or onedrive onedrive you should register first let's say you want to take from onedrive i just click onedrive or google drive maybe you have a picture here this is your folder then you click here and you must click share and you copy the link and you go back to your community and you just paste and you post it of course you can write something there yeah and if you want to see it you just click here and this is the picture that you have insert so all your friends or your lecturers will be able to see uh, they can share or they can copy the image just like write and copy the image and um, you can save it save in your folder and uh, finally maybe you want to get uh, something from your google drive and maybe this is your file that you want to you just click and this is your file this is your google doc file uh, maybe this is the um, assignment that has been given by le your lecturer and you have done it and uh, this is collaborative learning and uh, you can share with your friend and you will insert it so what you do is that just click share you should make sure that you can click so that everyone can edit and you copy the link and you return it then you can respond any of the place here and you paste it here then you post it and when you click then you can see that uh, you have done with your friends or your own assignment to sum up, you can see the structure here. First, you can see the instruction given by your lecturers or by your teachers. And if there is a material video clip, you can just play. And if there is a link, you can open up and read. Then later, uh, you will do whatever your lecturers or teachers ask you to do, whether to write an essay or to answer questions. And then you will post back what you have done, whether you have done it in Google Docs or Google Slide or you record on a voice or from YouTube. You can do that and then uh, you, uh, you can uh, insert here. You can respond from here and also you can respond from your friends. You can also record uh, your videos and your video should be uh, uploaded to YouTube first. So you can see the structure here. This is one complete lesson. Thank you very much.